वेलकम बैक अभी वन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर्टी वन एंड फोर्टी टू एंड दीज आर द प्रॉब्लम्स एंड द फॉर्मूलाज विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर टुडेज वीडियोज आर दिस वन एंड दिस वन ऑल राइट टू डेज वीडियो ऑल राइट द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई सजेस्ट यू टू रीड द थ्योरी एंड दिस इज द फोर्स पेनोटेरिया दिस एफ इज रिप्रजेंटिंग फोर्स पेनोटेरिया एंड दिस इज प्रेशर ऑल राइट सो फर्स्ट फोर्टी वन सी इज two large parallel metal plates two large metal plates are held at a distance d apart suppose we put a charge q on each plate what is the electrostatic pressure on each plates all right so the question is direct and is formula based problem number 41 page 104 all right so he saying that we have two metal plates they are at a distance d apart and we need to calculate and having charge q on them and we need to calculate electrostatic pressure on the plates let me just focus yes so electrostatic pressure the formula for electrostatic pressure is given by p is equal to epsilon naught by 2 e square remember uh, in the theory given uh, e is in e inside a uh, conductor is zero and e outside has a discontinuity as sigma upon epsilon naught in the direction of n cap all right so these are the formula which has which is to be remembered so applying the formula we get put e this is e outside all right so pressure inside will be zero and the pressure outside will be uh, sigma square upon epsilon naught square one power cancelled sigma square upon 2 epsilon naught the pressure will be this much if you need to calculate further more you can simplify as writing it as q square upon 2 and having area because we are why we are simple, simplifying because in question area is also mentioned that each is having area a all right so that is why the pressure will be q square upon 2 epsilon naught a square this is the answer for question number 41 now let us start question number 42 so question number 42 says a metal sphere of radius r carry the total charge q what is the force of repulsion between northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere so this is a tricky question let me just take some space and explain you what the question is saying he is saying we have a metal sphere all right so metal sphere of radius r and it is a sphere i hope you get that so and we need to find the force of repulsion first of all so if i take a small portion on the sphere then uh, the we need to find the force of uh, repulsion on the sphere between northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere suppose this is x axis and this is northern hemisphere and this is southern hemisphere in between them so this is z axis or you may name them oppositely so we need to calculate the uh, force between them so we need to calculate force on either axis all right either this axis you you may uh, name this as northern axis or this as northern axis this is southern axis or this is northern this is southern means you need to calculate the force on on the axis only so in the theory it is given that we know that uh, due to a uh, we need we have the formula for uh, force per unit area as sigma square upon 2 epsilon naught and electric field will be this this side and somewhat e other the graphic in graphic book it it is called as e other and this is called as e patch and this is the discontinuity all right and we need to take the average to uh, uh, compensate the discontinuity for the patch all right for this patch so now let us start the question let me just change the page so we have a metal surface or sphere sorry of radius r and we need to calculate the force on On, on force of repulsion between northern and southern hemisphere all right so force per unit area which is given by small f 
is sigma square upon 2 epsilon naught n cap we know that also we know that for sphere sigma is q upon 4 pi r square putting values force uh, per unit area q square upon 16 pi square r raised to power 4 into 2 epsilon naught in the direction of r cap force unit area is 32 pi square r raised to power 4 epsilon naught so this is the force per unit area between northern and southern sorry in, in the sphere only we are not not talking about northern and southern hemisphere in the sphere only this is the force per unit area so now force force will be given by q square 32 let me just focus 32 pi square no 32 pi square sorry pi square r is to power 4 epsilon naught da and to calculate the force of repulsion between northern and southern hemisphere we need to take the this is the electric field other electric field all right so we need to take the uh, component in that direction only this is the uh, electric field suppose in the other direction and we need to calculate the force in between them so we need to resolve the uh, component so e e cos theta or f f cos theta this is the force in the direction because the electric field is in the in, in this direction so we'll we'll resolve in this direction to calculate the force of repulsion between northern and southern hemisphere i am naming them northern this is southern this is northern so we will take it as force between between northern and southern hemisphere is given by q square 32 pi square d uh, for r, r raised to power 4 epsilon naught and cos theta d a d a sorry all right so now let me give the this as for uh, force dash this is this name is given as force dash all right so now let us solve further q square 32 pi square r square r raised to power 4 epsilon naught cos theta and da for uh, sphere that is spherical uh, symmetric over r r is given by r square sin theta d theta and d phi this is the general concept of electrostatics that uh, the we are we, if we are talking about a sphere it um, generally or in most of the cases it is uh, symmetric about uh, it's uh, uh, radius axis all right so this is the formula for da now solving so we get q square 32 pi square r r square because r square r one power is cancelled two powers are cancelled cos uh, i i should multiply it by two all right so multiply by two and divide by two so i get uh, sin 2 theta and it will give us 4 pi and on integration 0 to pi by 2 why pi by 2 because theta is only from 0 to pi by 2 other if i take 0 to pi then it will repeat its, its values all right so on solving further i get q square i hope you can see it yes q square upon pi pi cancelled and 4 8 and 1 2 also all right so i get um, 16 pi r square epsilon naught q square and 1 2 also for uh, this this integration all right so on integrating it will i'll get minus one and uh, let us take the magnitude so this two will become uh, on integrating will become in the uh, denominator so i get q square pi r square epsilon naught so this will this will be the force of repulsion if uh, uh, in between northern and southern hemisphere if if it is not if he is not talking about between northern and southern hemisphere then this will be the answer all right just solve for da and don't mention cos theta here 
all right so if it, if you do not mention cos theta then it is for general and if you are mentioning cos theta it means you are talking about some direction ie that is northern hemisphere or south, between northern or southern hemisphere so that's all for this video in this video we have solved two questions and the theory you must read it the concept is built on this theory only for these questions so see you next time